Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is an inbox review um, of the Tammy kit. I haven't done anything but Airfix yet, so this is my first Tammy kit. And I haven't done anything that's 172 or bigger or smaller. So this is 148 scale. Uh, I picked it up from a model shop and it was £16, um, but I think it's worth the price. It looks great inside, to be honest. Um, not sure if it ain't fit or anything. Um, but yeah, I think Tammy did do an old, uh, like another one of this, that came with a um, V1 rocket. No. Yeah, I think it's a V1. Or um, a doodle bug, I think. I think that's what they call them. So, box art, it's quite nice. I like it. Um, this, um, I think, is an old kit. It's the paint call outs are not Tamiya's ones. They are like, I can find them. I think they're on the box here. Um, they are AS and not um, X. Which they usually are, so yeah. This side we've just got uh, pictures and the name basically in the front of the box. Uh, a bit of information on the model here so 148 scale, uh, fuselage is 261 millimeters, and wingspan is 273 millimeters. Um, just uh, the instructions. Um, just a nice uh, instructions, I guess. This is my first Tammy kit, so it's all kind of um, well, not new, but yeah, compared to Airfix. So we have, I guess, information, which is same as Airfix is really. Uh, information there. Uh, oh, it's one of fold up ones. Okay. I guess these are assembly instructions, like tools and stuff um, here. Um, caution and stuff like that. So, first we have fuselage uh, assembly. Uh, That one, yep, and then wings I've put on, and a weight which is um, it doesn't actually say the weight of it, but yeah, metal weight that goes in there. Then we have the making of the cockpit that goes in, and then this is quite different because usually you put the cockpit and the fuselage around it, so this is a bit different. Um, engines look quite good. Uh, had a look at the sprue there, and bought, quite nice. Here we have engines being put in, and these here, we, I think you can get, they are glass, but I don't know if you can get uh, the normal plastic. But those you can have glass so you can see the engine. Um, in the uh, in the off, outside the model, here we have the wheel doors and page. This is quite long. <laughs> um, wheels and air brakes, I think. Yeah, air brakes. And a fuel tank that goes in the bottom. And then on the back we have oh no, not yet. We have um canopy and some more speed air brakes and stuff like that. So yeah. Here we I think it's just some instructions on painting um and 
decals or water slide transfers. Um, but yep, yeah, here we have the pint call outs. Um, well, the sheet where it tells you what pints and everything. Decal sheet, I'll call it. Well, not decal sheet. Uh, I don't know what it's actually called, but um, just the things. It just says information on it and um, what paint you got to paint it in. And there is another scheme. I don't think I'm going to be doing this one, uh, which um, is in like a, a whitey colour. I'm not actually sure what colour uh, because of the. Hmm, because of the old uh, Tamiya um, paint things, so paint numbers and stuff. So, yep, that's the um, booklet. Well, the instructions uh, are quite good. It's uh, probably what I fix. But I'm just going to kind of compare everything to Airfix in this video for some reason. Because <laughs> that's the only thing I've actually done. So, um, here we have all the different sprues here I have those are the plastic things on the engines I was talking about the sprues look quite nice they're like a greyish colour which I am not used to um, air brakes everything looks nice on that sprue this one I think it's the engines here they also look really nice. Here we have the weight. Um, it's quite heavy, obviously. Um, the fuselage and the man, the pilot. Uh, so yeah, this uh, here is. It looks quite an easy kit for one forty-eight. So, yeah, I think it's an easy one to start off with, especially with a different brand or whatever. Um, I don't know if they're going to be any, any different or hard, but I've never really tried them before. So, yeah. Here I have another thing. It looks like kind of like a poster, to be honest. Um, all of the... Um, different uh, paints and stuff what paint you need uh, which is quite nice I actually like that Tamiya colour I think no hang on maybe that's uh, enamel paint those numbers I'm not sure maybe I don't know and as well, I have the decals which are in a plastic bag. Uh, scissors. I've heard Tammy decals are not very good, but um, I'll see how I get along with them. Um, Yeah, they look okay to me, but to be honest, I think I see the um, round these here. The uh, I don't know what you call it, but the stuff that the where there's no ink, let's just say, where there's no deck or water slide transfer. <laughs> um, it's quite a big like overhang of like film or whatever you call it so that might be one of the problems i'm not too sure uh, i've never really i've never built one of these so yeah i can get it back in there ah, I won't bother. Put it back in the box. so yeah inbox review so, yeah, overall, uh, 
by looking inside the box I would definitely recommend it um, look really nice to be honest the springs and everything so um, very looking forward to doing this kit um, and yeah stay uh, up to date with some more videos so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye